After months of politics, a complete change of atmosphere in Ottawa today as the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders gathered at the National War Memorial to remember one of their own, Corporal Nathan Cirillo, murdered here one year ago. The streets were closed off as crowds gathered to remember both Nathan Cirillo and Warrant Officer Patrice Vincent, murdered two days earlier in Quebec. The Governor General presided as the victors and the vanquished of the election campaign marked the moment together. Stephen Harper still technically in office for another 12 days, even as his powers rapidly ebb away to Justin Trudeau. The choreography of the ceremony run by the Canadian forces was flawless. Right down to the fly past of four jet fighters in the missing man formation. Then this remarkable moment. The Right Honourable Stephen Harper, Prime Minister of Canada, and Mr. Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister Designate. Only a week ago, they were at each other's throats, but here they were in lockstep, the once and future prime ministers jointly receiving a wreath from a military aide, then jointly placing it before the tomb of the unknown soldier. Finally, they stood together as the music swelled. Then the governor general spoke of the two fallen soldiers. We remember them and we honor their service to Canada. There's little chance their families will forget all of this. Nathan Cirillo's young son is in the middle here, nor will the bystanders who were honored for trying to help Cirillo as he lay dying. But his fellow Highlanders insisted they will not be intimidated by what happened here. I am proud to wear the Canadian Forces uniform, and I am proud to be in Argyle, and I see no reason not to feel safe walking around in public. Even so, on Parliament Hill, a question lingers. Could it happen again? Could another gunman like Michael Zihaf Bibo make it to the hill? A year and a day ago, I would have said uh, Bibo could never make it to the hill. Um, we plan to ensure that Bibo could never make it to the hill. I think we're in a better place now. Even so, just how much better that place really is will be debated once politics resumes. The Liberals want to make changes in Bill C-51, the sweeping new security bill introduced by the Conservatives after last year's attacks. So this story's not over, Peter. All right, Terry, thank you.